Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Cisco RV325 VPN router. This, my friends, is the bomb, really. I mean, I happen to like it a lot. This is the only thing that I use in my home. Now, if you want to do it the right way, meaning there are wrong ways, is that you never put all your eggs in one basket. You need to have a router only. No Wi-Fi part of that router. Um, it makes it more, I guess, vulnerable because if they gain access to that, they gain access to your router and they can change passwords and so on and so forth. If you have two separate devices, you're better off. This is the Cisco R325. It's not much of an unboxing, but I wanna show you the hardware of it because it is really nice. And I have to configure this today for a client. And what more was better than uh, doing a unboxing and because I have to set this up today, actually, as soon as this unboxing is finished, I'm gonna be configuring it for the client. So this is a rack mount device. It doesn't have to be, but it does come with rack mount hardware. Here's the CD. It should have the instructions and stuff on it in all languages. Quick start guide in English, quick start guide in Spanish, support phone numbers. This does have an external power supply. So you do have a wall wart, as they call it. This is 12 volts at two amps. It's actually pretty beefy, as you can clearly see, it's nice size. But it's, you know, you can replace it with any power supply. You don't need to have anything fancy. So we take it out of the box. Comes with the rack mount screws in this bag and the RJ45 Category 6 cable. The brackets for the rack mount are here. I'll slide this out. Here we go, the other one. And here's the actual router. Now, what's really nice about this particular router, it is a 14 port gigabit switch as well. It is really nice. It offers two WAN ports. So if you have, if you needed redundancy, this is like perfect for a small business, obviously 14 people. Um, this is perfect. Um, it offers two WAN ports. So if you needed mission critical information like uh, backup, Optimum goes down, you might have Verizon in the same location, you, then you can have two, two WAN ports here, or you can set one up as a DMZ, and the other one, obviously, the WAN port. So you can, do have an option for DMZ here, on right, right, right on the router, right in the front. Uh, and then it offers the additional 14 ports. So in theory, you're looking at this, it's 16 ports, of which two are programmable. So it offers um, USB for... Um, file sharing and there are lights on the front here that indicate if you have VPN what I use this for is I use gateway to gate gateway to gateway VPN meaning my clients have one and then I have one and then I set up a gateway to gateway VPN between appliances between these two things and it's real-time full-time VPN so as soon as you map a drive letter you're connected to that particular server. The link is always active, it's just that there's nothing going between the two which, except for the handshaking for the, for the VPN connectivity. But this, my friends, is worth every penny. There's another USB port on the side here. So if you notice, there is a, a USB port on the front here. That's for a USB uh, cell phone device, like a, a dongle, like a 3G, 4G device. It's also one on the side, USB 2.0. Both these ports act as the same options. In other words, you can either have a thumb drive or a 256 gig flash drive, a 250 gig, boom, plug it right there, you're good to go. Uh, same thing in the front here. But if you needed um, 
a backup plan in terms of connectivity, you need always to have connectivity, uh, you can get that 4G dongle and plug it right in here, boink, and you're done. Um, obviously, data rates apply when you're doing that, you know, unless you go with a company that has unlimited data, then that would be the way to go. Um, but this router offers a lot of options and features, the dual WAN and the 14 port switch. And I have one here. So what I do is that this is just a router. So I want, this is a very powerful router for, for what it is and how much it is, it's like 300 bucks, but it is security minded. You can do VLANs with this, has a lot of um, possibilities for someone who really wants to take care. And, and, and it's really, it's not, doesn't run Cisco IOS. This, this looks like, uh, um, how would I describe it? It's like a, a robust version of Linksys, essentially. I mean, it's GUI based. Most Cisco routers are not, if you're talking about iOS, they're not GUI based. So anyway, guys, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe.